Welcome back everybody. It's day six, uh, stay at home. Uh, and well, if it's day six, that means I kind of dropped the ball and we didn't put out as many videos as uh, we kind of promised. Um, if you haven't seen what we have put out, it's Huey detailing his Cressida, going over uh, his new tow rig. And then uh, the video after that is us uh, leveling that tow rig with some Fox Shock. So if you haven't, check those out now. Um, but in the meantime, I kind of dropped the ball. Um, I just didn't record anything. I did a couple things. But maybe it's better I don't have footage of me going out when I'm supposed to be at home. Who knows? Whatever. Let's look at what I did get done, though. So uh, our new Cressida friend, Daniel, uh, somehow picked up two Cressidas that he's stripping parts of out of to make... Well, he's got one. He picked up two more. So he's going to end up with two decent ones. One nice one and a one that uh, basically is going to be a missile, which is cool. Uh, another guy to track with a Cressida is always fun. Um, but So he picked up one. It was at the junkyard, which is why I didn't really record anything because uh, I pulled up and the car was basically sitting in the mud. Um, so I helped him get what he needed. And um, I needed one piece, and that is this piece right here. Um, so what that is, that's, I guess we could call it a mid pipe. Um, let's walk back here. So it's a mid pipe basically connects the exhaust manifold to the rear cat. Uh, so as you saw, it has one cat in it. And my plan is to take that is upside down, but I'm going to flange. And then all I'll need to do is connect the flange to wherever I cut on that mid pipe and then my headers installed. So went down there, grabbed that. Uh, other thing I did is I uh, finally got my tires flipped. So, which means uh, I got a pair for Adams and then uh, I flipped a pair that's showing wires because I want to drive on it. Um, drift cars should be street cars, some people say, and I really want to drive this thing on the street. So, uh, that. So, the plan today is actually put the rears on. Um, I want to mess with those real quick. Let's look at them. See, this is really going to run. Uh, so we're going to clean them up and I want to throw some of this chemical guys, hydro charge, ceramic. I don't know if it's going to do anything. They made a post saying it does. So I uh, figured wash these, throw it on, see what happens. Um, so those are going to rear. Uh, we'll actually end up doing that last. But the big thing we're going to get done today is we're finally going to install the Z brakes. So yeah, I finally got all the parts. So I got brackets, I got the right lines. Um, when we get there, we'll go over all the specifics, but for now, let's rinse those wheels off and, um, and get started. All right, so that was pretty easy. Just rinse them off, clean them. Looking good. Um, so we're going to let them air dry and then, uh, but we're going to get started on the front. So, uh, put the car in the air, get it on stands, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that, and then we'll go over all the parts we're using today. All right, so we got the driver's side taken apart. Let's take a look. Um, I mean, it's... Nothing special. Uh, I did take off the uh, brake shield. Um, you got to trim it, and uh, I just ended up cutting it off. Um, whatever. I don't really care. So uh, let's look at what we're doing today and kind of go over this. All right. So basically what we have, these are Z32 four pots. Um, just basic, run of the mill. I got them geez, years ago and rebuilt them, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, I got new pads and rotors, and then I have these adapters. Um, these are made by some guy on Facebook. Uh, I think his name's Eric Held. Uh, I'll put his name in the description. Um, but he makes this. These are real cheap. Um, they're actually like a two-piece because some of the calipers need to be... Uh, the alignment's not right. So they're two, they're, you know, it's one, it's two per side most. There are different thicknesses depending on what you need. So that should help me because when I put these on the Subaru, I had to um, kind of, what do they call this? I had to clearance the throat in here. I had to clearance this a little because uh, it was rubbing on the caliper. So um, that's how we're going to bolt them up. Really, honestly, 
Um, so there's these brackets. There's like the beach performance ones, if you can still find them. Uh, I think there's one other company, or you can honestly just run like 11 millimeter spacers. Um, and they fit, uh, because the bolt pattern is the same. It's just the offset that's wrong. Um, the other thing is have our hub centric rings for the rotors because the hub diameter on the Z brakes are a little bigger than the Toyota. So it comes with these new hardware. Now lines. Normally, uh, if you have unmodified Z brakes, uh, your stock crest the line will work. And that the end that goes to the brakes looks like this. So, but since these were modified to go on a Subaru, um, there's like a little fitting that you take out of the port. What I found out is that a non-conversion S13 brake line has the banjo bolt that I need. Uh, so that's what I'm going to run. Um, everything else should bolt up. And they're also an inch longer, which should help it full lock from the line from, you know, getting tight. Um, should avoid any issues. So again, if you have unmodified Z4 pots, your stock crest line will work. And that's really it. So um, we'll put the head cam on and then uh, we'll kind of go through the install on this. All right. So first we're going to put this uh, hub centric ring on. Oh, uh, just so you're running, I'm running Hawk uh, HPS pads. Um, I don't know. I didn't want anything too crazy, but these are supposed to be a little better. Um, so we're going to run that. We want this. Um, we want... This just gonna go. centric rotors uh huey found them so uh so these are nothing special just some blanks and uh just give them a wash down lug nut on to hold it some next we need one of these some of these and we're gonna make sure we have the right one so you're gonna make sure that the bleeder faces up or else you'll never get it to bleed um, we should Huey said he had to use both, so I'm going to start with both. Now. Oh. Looks like just my rotor wasn't seated all the way, but uh, it looks pretty good. All right, so that's basically it. Uh, pads are pretty simple. I'm gonna do that last. Um, now all we gotta do is run the line. So let's grab a line. As you can see, 
should be about an inch longer. Yeah, cool. All right, so the driver's side's done. Let's take another look at it. Um, but there you go. Brackets, I ended up using both. Um, S13 line. I don't know why I had issues getting that on, uh, but it's tight. Um, I got to put the clip back in. I got to zip tie the clip here. Uh, pads are in. So it's really that simple. Uh, I'm going to go and do the other side and then bleed the brakes and then we'll throw the rear wheels on and we're done. Well, that's it for today. We're all done. Uh, I got the 18s all around. Um, so it actually settles more. I get close to one finger gap. Um, but yeah, so there they are. Um, yeah, I don't know. Z32 four pots, Cressida. Uh, I got tons of caliber clearance, but I think it's because I'm running a 25 mil adapter for these wheels. Um, the only thing I didn't get to today was I didn't get to bed the pads. Um, it's starting to drizzle. I got some other stuff to do and I didn't want to bed them in when it's wet. So I'll probably do that in a couple of days. Um, if you want to see that, comment below and uh, we'll do something. So you, if you don't know how to do it, we'll show you how to do it. Um, so that's it for today. I'll see you next time.